Hey guys, it's really noisy out here, but I'm at the side of the road. I stopped for a minute and I just wanted to talk about this James O'Keefe deal. Now, some of you may say, well, who's James O'Keefe? Some of you know him, um, but he's the founder of Project Veritas. Well, then you might, some of you might even say, what's Project Veritas? Well, if it weren't for Project Veritas, there's a lot of things that would never, ever, you know, got into the mainstream media. Um, big, big scandals that might involve certain advertisers, certain um, donors to uh, campaigns, things like that, uh, kind of have a tendency to be hushed up or they don't want to offend their supporter. So consequently, mainstream media doesn't show you a lot even though you think you're you're seeing everything so when these things come out and it you know they oh leak and it's like a whistleblower kind of thing and you 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 see these videos a lot of the times uh, project veritas is behind that they they got it out got it out to the public they've been canceled they've been censored they've been all sorts of things you know from twitter to uh youtube uh, you name it, uh, but for that 13 years, um, James O'Keefe has pretty much been at the helm. He was the CEO. Well, they just broke probably the biggest story in the country in years. And of course, that was, uh, you know, what was happening behind the scenes at Pfizer. So you know that Pfizer is advertised on brought to you by there's so many news articles and uh, news uh, episodes and so forth that are brought to you by Pfizer you know that the, the uh, that satanic uh, awards ceremony in Hollywood brought to you by Pfizer so what I'm saying I guess is there's big money behind it and things happen uh, that you just kind of wonder how that happened so here here's the deal he breaks the biggest story in the history of their, you know, uh, organization. That same week, as things are uh, just un, un, you know, like going viral, you know, all his videos are going viral. His board gets together and they start asking about questions and should we get rid of James and all sorts of, uh, you know, uh, division is happening. And uh, basically, they stripped him of his CEO, you know, uh, abilities to run the company. They kind of suspended him for a period of time. And so he came back, and here's, this, here's a clip, and this is kind of sums up what's going on. And you tell me what you think down in the comments. Watch this clip. There were tactical disagreements about the boldness of approaches soliciting donations. I was told, and I'm paraphrasing, by asking for X dollars right now, you will prevent 10 X dollars down the road. That advice ran contrary to everything I knew to be true in my 13 years of fundraising. Um, but that conflict was even more fundamental and essentially boiled down to this. And my vision, I'm going to paraphrase Howard Rourke, the architect, quote, I don't have, I don't build in order to have donors. I have donors in order to build. That's what I believed, and I felt like we had a conflict of visions. We measure our success in terms of what we produce, not just in terms of our wallets. That was a pretty fundamental conflict, I felt. The day prior, I had informed him in front of his colleagues that he, if he wasn't willing to follow my lead, he'd be shown the door. I tried to deal with it privately, but I was unsuccessful, and the disagreement boiled over publicly in a staff meeting. The next day, this individual refused to resign, so I fired him. Later that same day, that's Feb Thursday, February 2nd, a few days after the 50 million viewed Pfizer videos, I was informed by a different officer of Project Veritas that he would go to the board in a few hours from that moment and have an emergency vote to restructure this company, receiving an agenda in my email while I was sitting on an airplane tarmac with the doors closing the, the meeting was scheduled for the moment that my plane landed in Nashville. It became clear to me in that moment I would be removed from my position at Project Veritas by the time I landed 
at my destination. So, our mission continues on. I'm not done. The mission will perhaps take on a new name, and it may be no longer called Veritas, Project Veritas. I'll need a bunch of people around me, and I'll make sure I'll make sure you know how to find me. So with that, I'm going to collect my things. I'm going to load them into my car. And I hope to see some of you soon. Okay, so one of the things is when you have a, a nonprofit organization, uh, you have to have certain things in place uh, so that the donors can donate to the cause and so forth. So somebody on the board started putting pressure on uh, what what they can do to uh, to probably slow down or stop James and um, we're wondering where that pressure is coming from uh, now I would say that maybe uh, just like Project uh, Veritas gets onto the inside of, of organizations and people and things uh, to kind of get the inside scoop I think the very same thing happened to his board. They've got somebody in there working on the inside and they're you know, helping push buttons. And the reason why I say that is up at this time, they really hadn't, didn't have any problems with how he conducted himself, but they came up with allegations, which they posted on Twitter about him, you know, spending enormous amounts of money. He's just, you know, on this and that and the other thing. And they're, they're trying to show that he wasn't, he wasn't being a good steward of the, uh, the funds that they were getting from the donors and so from their point of view they're protecting the donors now it's just amazing that it, this issue just now happened and why it didn't happen six months ago I mean I don't think he's changed his you know the way he operates so anyway um, back to you know what I was saying is they have these responsibilities but I think whoever's pushing the buttons use this as a tool saying oh well look he's spending all this money he's doing this and this is not right we need to put a stop to it and basically it shut him down and uh it makes you wonder who's working on the inside and i think they are but here's the bonus after this little speech that you just saw the employees all the major main a journalist within the organization told the board that they will quit unless the board steps down so that's a major uh, you know, development so anyway guys I just thought I would throw that out there you know uh, I just you know sometimes you just got to go out there and you know let people know what's going on if they don't know what's going on and I try to do it in the simplest form I can so remember to like, share, subscribe, share with your friends. We'll see you on the next one.